Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 2021. Uh, we're on episode number five. I'm so excited that our experiment to restart uh, back in episode number four has, at least thus far, worked out brilliantly. That level two, uh, that slight, slight, tiny adjustment seems to be making the difference on our ability to, well, stay afloat. And also, Lowell, our new athlete, what a fantastic first tournament where she's already nearly covered the monthly deficit. Right now, our monthly deficit is 8.8 thousand. She brought in 6,600 for the team in that single tournament. So at this rate, a few good tournaments and, of course, regular participation, we will be able to stay afloat for the year. That being said, those who have had a little more time on their hands than myself, which, by the way, I'm, I'm sure you've already noticed that my audio's a bit off. Everything else should look about normal. Uh, and that is all coming down to, well, I'm one week into a three-week stay away from home. I'm taking care of family, helping out, and circumstances are what they are. Speaking of... I don't have any regular recording schedule for these three weeks. I am getting done what I can when I can. Having my computer really helps, but taking care of family in a time of need, uh, I only have so much time. And I'm at their home, not at my own. So, uh, circumstances, life, anyway. I have learned from those who have been able to play a bit further into this game than, than I have and didn't have to restart the way I had to. At the end of the first year, if you have a positive balance, we're going to get a $200,000 cash influx from the board. That can immediately go into rolling out a facility upgrade, which can allow us to either have more base money coming in, as in we do another business upgrade, or facility upgrade where we can have more athletes. Either way, that is increased revenue. That's what we'll focus on. Let's see if we can more quickly manage this season and get to the end of that first year. I don't know if we're going to get all the way through a year in one episode, but... We are going to move fairly quickly with this one because it's, well, it's a small team and we got to develop. We'll keep an eye on the physical and tactical upgrades and see if that's working out for us and see if avoiding technical for now to save money. $24 million in prize money. Phenomenal opportunity here and literally the worst draw possible. We enter the round of 128. It, it's Australia. We're, we're at the... This is one of the Grand Slams. I mean, this is a massive, massive tournament. One of the biggest in the world. And we open the very first round against the number one seed. The number one ranked player in the world. Uh, we are going to absolutely get slaughtered on this one no doubt about it uh, though she has not had a great record so far in that opening tournament Brisbane that same tournament round of 16 she got knocked out so she has not had a great start but as the number one ranked player uh, we are going to be well well out of our depths and get well crushed Let, let's just get that out of the way there's no doubt about it. We'll simulate this one. Seven, five, seven, six, seven. You gotta be kidding me. There's no way th this game's not balanced. <laughs> There's no way the number one seed in the world is losing to somebody outside of the top 100. Freak things happen. This isn't a freak. I mean, this is absurd. And, of course, we don't get any extra money for beating. Uh, look at our ranking jump now, though. 89th. 
uh, that, that might go up a bit too. I don't know if rankings are based purely on how deep you get into tournaments or if ranking actually has something to do with competitive balance, who you're beating, who you're losing to. Still not an easy second round matchup, but it's easier. Take away 39 places in the rankings. Now you can see just how much out of our depth we are as <laughs> it's love 30. And they've had two strong winners. And you can see just how hard she's serving. She nearly uh, grabbed a second straight ace on us. Uh, you can see, I mean, we're slightly capable as a player. But when it comes down to it, she's beating us quite handily. And it's love 40. I have no idea how the quick simulation did what it did for us. And kind of noticing in the last tournament. So it looks like you're almost better off uh, not going into the actual simulation. The simulation seems to be a lot more balanced. The quality of an opponent uh, really shows itself. The quick sim maybe is a little unbalanced at this point. Doesn't take into account the, the rankings. Ouch. She's... Uh, Mad after losing that game. <laughs> Getting slaughtered. Holy cow, that was not good. Ooh, that was a nice one, though. 15 low. <sighs> we oh, scored! We didn't win a game yet, but we scored. Alright, uh, 30 love. Let's speed things up here. I, I have a feeling that at least in this mode, we're going to lose by a fairly wide margin. It's 3-1, it's 4-1. Yeah, we're, we're going down and going down pretty quick. Uh, something tells me that the quick simulation is a bit broken. And that might be a good thing for us whenever we are weaker than an opponent. It gives us a chance to, uh, to win. Opening set. We lose 6-1. We do start well, though, with three straight games in the second set. We've got a chance to uh, pull something back here. Our opponent livens up a little bit and get things moving. But after pulling back to 3-2, we go up 5-2, now 5-4, 6-4, and we win set number two. Four three. Now four four. We're gonna slow things down here in a moment. Five four. We have a chance to grab the set here. It's fifteen fifteen. Out. 13, oh, 15. that was millimeters long. Fifteen thirty. We are annoyed now. Where our opponents pumped so. A bit down on morale, a bit down on stamina. Not good at this stage in the match. Playing well though, but our opponent, we just can't seem to get the winners on her. We don't have enough power. We can get her side to side occasionally. Ooh, that one goes just a hair long. That was millimeters. And then we go millimeters. It's back to deuce. Wow, that was in. That was in. That one was millimeters long. I mean, both of those just inch perfect or inch out. And now advantage to the opponent in trouble. And yeah, give away the game. We were so close. We can't afford any mistakes against a, an opponent of this quality. Game five six. We went from five four now down five six. Four second service. Wow, she's so good playing the edges. Keep Look at that. Up. This corner hitting corner 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 again again. Love thirty. 
Love 40. Ace. This could be it. Match point. Came so, so close to sending this to a fifth set. Um, there's that quality just showing up. Holy cow, did that pay off. Look at that. 21% prize money just for getting into the round of 64. We get through a single match and we claim 28000 We're in Thailand for our next tournament. We've received a first round buy already pushing us to the round of 32. Our ranking has improved to 87 now after two successful tournaments in January have pushed us up. It's now February. We actually have the advantage entering this next round and we're looking pretty good but it's around a 32 so uh, right now there's not a lot of prize money to be handed out this far down the tournament but if we can get through uh, one or two of these then i would think we're going to be in pretty good shape as this isn't a major tournament though i'm going to go ahead and use that simulate function and see what happens 6261 in the first that gets us into that next round where we needed to be. Oh, the seeded player lost. We now have a real advantage in the round of 16. 6 2 6 4. We'll see us into the quarterfinal. Where Serena Williams, the number one seed for the tournament, lost. That gives us a 12-13. This is a close one for the quarterfinal. One I'm very interested in partaking in as we have a real disadvantage, most likely, for the uh, semifinal. This would be the one that we can get through and can make a real difference on what kind of income we see from this tournament. Oh, ace right off the bat from the opponent. Two Americans facing off on this one. Thrilled and pumped. Uh, our opponent is a little bit fatigued from our previous rounds, where we are a little bit better off on our stamina recovery at this point. Only playing two sets per match does help. We've only had to play four total sets in the tournament so far. Just now entering our fifth. Ooh, just out. 40-15. Fold. Second service. Looks like we're going to struggle through this first game. Our opponent pretty good with serve. Would I have that one? Lose the opening game. Oh, that got counted. That was so close. We do get that ace and then level the score at 1 1. Can't break that second one though. Both of both of us holding serve finally in the fifth game. We start to take control. 5-3, now 5-4, five, now 5-5. Five, five. She fights back all the way. I thought we had this thing wrapped up. Three straight wins from her opponent, and now sitting on advantage. She's got a chance to steal this first set from us. Oh, that looked like it was in, but it goes out. Ah, oh, come on. Game set goes to the opponent. Rugal. And she starts off the second set well. Could be going down today. She takes all of the first four games. Game. Five games to win. I don't know if she's pumped. Love, love I don't want to talk to her if she's pumped. She's just getting her butt kicked, though. That's it. Wow. It was 5-2 in that opening set. She won 11 straight games.
to take the match. Out in the quarterfinal on that one. It's still going to have a decent payday, I would think. And it does, 4,000. But, sorry, 2,300. Now into March, and now into our first American tournament. And we've got a decent seeding. We're sixth. We're ranked 70th now. But our opening opponent certainly won't be an easy one. Uh, with only 160,000 on offer, we're definitely going to have to get through a couple of rounds at least uh, to just really see anything from this one in terms of payday. This is not a big tournament. Opening set closer than you would like. 7-6. 3 before we finally... Come out victorious in this one. Only 52% of the points won. Eight aces, but eight double faults, where our opponent was definitely solid on the serve. Two days later, rested, recovered. Opponent of same level. Check opponent this time, who's only played once. 7561. Now we're getting far enough in to at least get a little bit of money out of this turn. The quarterfinal is all ranked opponents. The number one seed still alive. The 16 seed with the upset over the 8 seed. We've got a 6-3 matchup and a 5-2 matchup, meaning the much more challenging, difficult end of the quarterfinals. The path to the final is on our side, and we're going to have a hard time as we're going to be the, the lower seed all the way at least until the final where possibly the 16 seed. The opening set does not go our, our way here in the quarterfinal against this similarly ranked Jessica, Jessica Pizzola. Uh, she takes the opening set 6-2, and we, we could be uh, making a quick exit from this tournament at this point. Like I said, we're, we're not favorites from here on, uh, but getting this far in, we'll at least get... Match going. Ugh, we were in such a strong position, and then... Went back on the heels. 6 2, six, two. We're out. So, after playing in the minor precursor tournament, we now play in the larger tournament here in the U.S. And yeah, we're in trouble. Uh, we go up against an unseated but much higher ranked Russian player. And then, even if we do win, we, we go up against a high ranked Swiss player after that. And either one is likely to knock us out of here. But again, with this kind of prize pool, but down in the round of 128, it's not going to be much, but it, it would be something. So, so close. 6-7, six, 6-4, six, four, four, six. We nearly squeeze out the first set. We do win the second set, but then we just lose that third set, and that knocks us out right away in the first round. Uh, that's going to give us some time to recover this week at least. And that'll still have a little bit of a payday to it, but it's not going to make for a good month at this point. That was better than I thought. We lose in that initial round. We still grab 3000 for that. We nearly break even for the month of March. And there's still a couple weeks to go. I don't know if we have any more tournaments coming up, uh, but we are getting ready for the clay season. Our next tournament brings us to Spain and already into tournament play against a fairly evenly matched we do pick up a seeding but only just we're in the ninth seed this is a little bit of a tough one i mean you have fairly close rankings kind of throughout and we're kind of in the middle of the overall field i'm not sure we're going to get too deep into this one and with low prize money uh, there's no point actually going in to play these matches, but let's go ahead and get through this March. It's uh, this tournament. It's another one in March, so we're at least looking at turning this maybe or just about into a profitable month. But I'm not sure we're going to collect two thousand. Uh, we do get through the first match, but only just. Ooh, oh, big upset there. The the number two seed losing. To the qualifier. Oh, that makes me happy that we get the qualifier in the next round. Because we win in straight sets. 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. Just 99 points played in that one. So that, that was a nice quick movement into the quarterfinal. Where we again see an upset give us the upper hand going forward. And, and I don't mind so much what we might see in the semifinal. We have not won a tournament before. 
Venus Williams, she might have dropped in right quite a bit, but I would think she's going to be difficult to beat. And the num number one seed got knocked out. We've got a chance to win this tournament. 6-3, 4-6, We go the distance in this one in a very tight, tight contest. Just nine aces, but only one double fault this time. Much better. Our opponent, you can see, really, really using the serve to uh, to her key point in this one. Only 17 winners. Our opponent had 41, but the unforced errors, much higher. 41 unforced errors for them, 22 for us. Deadlocked against the... The player who's literally just one spot off us, not only in the seedings, but in the rankings, 68 and 69. But then at the other end, the other semifinal, Venus Williams. Venus Williams is going to play in the final for this one, and she's 96th. So if we can get past this, we'd have a real shot. We're going to do a quick playthrough. Uh, let's see what happens. Time. First set. Triple speed. We don't have time to to really get invested in this one, but we take early lead, winning the first two games, and three of the first four. Ooh, nice. Nice winner on that one is that was easily could have gone either way. And the opening set now just a single game victory away. And there it is, 6-4 in the opening. Take the first two games of the third set, of uh, the second set that is. And cruising now, 5-1. Opponent staying alive, but I think we're on our way to the final, and we are to play one of the Williams sisters. We're going to wrap this episode up as soon as this match is done. It's a good representation of Venus. And we win the opening point. Second serve is in. This is the final, folks. But like I said, we are out of time. I'm not going to go triple speed for the moment. But I will go double speed. We need to uh, move this one along. I am crazy busy at the moment. And I would love to see Anne win her first tournament. Even if it's only a minor one. She'll be feeling quite good about herself. It is 1-1, though. Venus might not be the player she once was, but she is still somebody who knows how to win and has won. And she's on fire at the moment too. Two two after the first four games. Now trailing three two. With serve, can we level it? We do, it's three three. Oh, we keep on rolling. 4-3 now. Finally. Gaining the upper hand. 30 love. Test to make that game number 5. And we do. Chance to take the opening set now. Five four. Got 30 love. Come on. This can do it. We've got the serve. This is the time. We really need to do it here. It's 40 all. Advantage. Back to deuce. Venus. Really trying to steal this one. Oh no. That is not what we needed. Though we actually steal that game and go 6 5. Come on. Come on. Oh, got it. Okay, opening set. 
into the second set. Pressure's off a little bit. Venus, just a little tired. She actually looks to be in a better mood than we are. And she wins the first game. Fighting back, it looked like she was trying really hard to make that first two games, but we go 1-1. One, one. And now begin to control the match. Oh, with serve, come on, yes, fighting back. 40-30. There it is, 3-1. Venus is making it tough on us, but we clearly have just the slightest of advantages over her in this match. 40-30. And that's 4-2 games. Getting close. Draw near. Five two. Just one game from victory and it's thirty love. That one's not gonna do oh, advantage. Set point. Match point that is. Oh, I thought that was out. Advantage. Oh, with the ace to get back into a game. Oh, way off. And back to back aces to win the tournament. All right, let's push forward and see what happens in the finances department after claiming that victory. And there you go. March just became profitable. That's what we're trying to do. And it looks quite clear at this point, even with a bad month sandwiched in between January and March. Overall, we are making a profit right now. So we are doing at least break even most months. We're not losing much. We will easily have our balance at the end of the year. That's all I could hope for. And so at this point, it's just a matter of trying to navigate the year as quickly as possible so that we can grow and expand and be capable of more. In the meantime, one big thing still to happen this year is we need to try to re-sign Ann Lowell to a longer term contract, but at the same time, we need better terms. I'm good at negotiating, but just how good are we? Maybe we'll find out next time. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.